everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel so today what i'm going to do is that i'm going to do a review of four of these brass products from travelers company i already have all of them and i have been using them for some months already so i just wanted to give you my personal opinion on these ones and before we start with all of this i'm just gonna turn on a candle you already know i have been really really loving this one since the last video that i uploaded so i wanted to turn it on again this one is the white tea and sage so again it smells amazing so i wanted to turn it on today so let us put it in here so if you don't know me my name is b and i made so many videos about anything related with stationery from planning to unboxing and now doing some reviews so let's just start so in here uh, this is gonna be by the end of the video i wanted to use this one because i saw on instagram that someone recommended buying this one from amazon everything that i'm gonna be talking about and if i found it on amazon it's gonna be in the description box because actually someone gave me the idea of opening a amazon storefront so i put it down there and i'm have been linking all the products that i talk in my videos so you will find it there but anyways this is just to clean out the brass and the copper so i actually wanted to clean out this because they are getting a little bit old already for using it so eh, i wanted to clean all of them so just to give you a little bit of insights in here i have this box this is by the travelers company box and this is where i keep all the brass products that i have and from travelers company i also have these other brass products in here that they are just rulers i have this one that is like a normal ruler and i have this one that is more like it for you to use it in your planner and just write the numbers and all of these things uh, again this is the box by travelers company it's really really small and compact and again is with brass so i'm not gonna use this in here but i'm gonna tell you a little bit about these products to just give you a little bit of overview about these products in here so this first one that we have in here this one is just the a ballpoint pen in here it has in here this beautiful wood kind of color in here and then the pen in here then the second one that we have in here this is just the fountain pen so it has in here like a f nib that is like a fine nib and again this is the fountain pen i'm gonna close it because that one dries quickly then in here we have the roller ball pen again i'm gonna close it because this one also has ink but it's just this all this full of brass color and in here the roller ball pen so then we got this one and this one as you can see is just a pencil we have the eraser in there and then when you open it up you have again your pencil so let's start one by one i'm gonna tell you a little bit of what they are what are the little price in the travelers company we're gonna use it in this notebook and i'm gonna tell you a little bit of the changes that i made or how do i like them let's start with this first one the first one as i mentioned this one is the bow point pen so this one in here you can buy in here some of the refills i actually got the refill for this one but i made some changes because i actually didn't like the ink that came out from here it was really dry and I don't know just the whole um the whole kind of like pen it just didn't fit with me i i wanted to return it and i didn't like how it wrote it was like really dry as i mentioned so i make some changes and on this one what i did is that on amazon i went and bought this one this one i don't know if you can see but this one is the uni style fit and it's the uni ball signal and it's 0 0.38 i'm gonna put this again into my amazon storefront if you want to buy it so this one it comes and it's kind of long so this one if we try to open it up in here and kind of disassemble it you can see the changes that i made in here i just put it down to fit the same size as the ballpoint pen refill that the travelers company has but this one is the uniball one and in here i just put a little bit of washi tape so the ink didn't come out so in this case i have a uniball 
kind of like point and it's gonna write way better than this point from Traveler's Company. So this is what I did. So basically just took it out again, then insert this one in here. I just put this inside and then connect it. So it's just gonna write way, way better than the other one. So if you see, this is the uniball. So I'm just gonna write in Spanish, hola. And it's not so dry. It dries way better and I absolutely love it. And it's 0 0.38, you can put other sizes, but I like that size. So it's really tiny and it's really, really nice. So again, this just having here a pen holder and it has this ring in here. So you can put like any string or you can attach it to anything. I haven't attached it. What I want to do is that I want to put different colors in there so I can actually see the difference because when you close it, this one, you can see the difference because the pencil at least have the eraser. But when you compare this other two, they are exactly the same. The only difference is that this one in here has the RB and it's kind of hard to see it. You really need to go and look into it. So it's hard to see the difference between these two. But anyways, that's what I did with this one. I just changed the inside and now I absolutely love it. But again, it's really small and compact. So that's the first one. The other one in here, let's move into this one. This one, I didn't make many changes. The only change that I made was for the ink itself. And the ink carriage that it came with this was actually not my favorite kind of ink. Uh, I don't know why it was too wet and it was passing all the pages. So what I did is that I just took it out. I'm not gonna take it out right now, but I just took out this cartridge in here. And then I have this for all my ink pens. So I just put this again on Amazon. And what I did is that I used one of these needles and I attach it to this converter. And what I did is that I took out the ink that came with the Traveler's Company ink. I clean out all these cartridges in here, let it dry, and then after I put some ink inside. And the ink that I put, it was this jet black by Diamine. And now the ink is not so wet and it's like perfect. It dries way better. So that's the change that I make in here. And I really like it because I can still just change it in here again, as I mentioned, using my needle and changing all the colors and everything that I want in there. So I can like it way better now. So this one in here, the only thing that I don't really like is as I mentioned, this one in here that is really, really similar to the fountain pen. So it's kind of hard to see which one is which one. The only thing, as I mentioned, is this RB for roll ball pen, but it's hard to see it. So that's the only downside for me. Everything else is really nice after I made the change of the ink. Then moving on into the fountain pen. This one is a little bit different for me. The fountain pen, I did not only change the ink inside the fountain pen, because again, the ink was really wet and I don't know why. I just didn't really enjoy that ink when I was writing, but also I'm kind of like, like using so many fountain pens that are like EF, like extra fine nib, and this one was a fine nib. So for me, that's a little bit different. It's a little bit bigger. And even if I change the ink, it's still really wet. It comes a lot of ink. I don't know if it's just my fountain pen that is really open where the ink is coming out in the nib, but that's the only downside. But I just grow to love it and now I'm using it. I don't use it when I need to write really small because as I mentioned, it's a fine nib. They don't have any replaces of the nib in the store. So you cannot like, really change it but if you compare it with this one that is extra fine you can see that the size is way different from the extra fine and the fine at least in the one that i got i know that many other people tried to change the nib and they actually didn't like it because it was too thin for them for me it's too thick so if you like ef nib eh, you may think that this one is a little bit thick but people have been trying to change it to a medium and i don't really know at the top of my head right now which kind of nib they have been changing it to but i know that they found some other 
nibs in jet pens that they have been trying to change for this one and change it into the medium one. As for me, I tried to find an EF and I couldn't find it. So that's the only downside for this one in here, eh, the fountain pen from Traveler's Company. But just in here, if you are a little bit curious about what kind of, eh, I don't know, like material this one is, this one is a steel nib, as I mentioned, is a size F that is fine. And it also comes inside with the cartridges. So if you open it up, in here it's really easy to just change everything inside it has a cartridge for me my cartridge always kind of like get it stuck in there so i have to push it out which is not something that i'm really loving about it but i didn't see anyone having this problem i guess it's just me somehow the cartridge got stuck in there and it's kind of hard to take it out but but yeah let's try to see yeah see kind of like get it stuck in there i guess this is more like a personal problem that i have so i don't think you will face that one but just in case if it gets stuck like me just put it down um, and it's gonna come really quick again this one is really easy to change if you buy those uh, needles that i show you and then you just clean out the cartridges and you can put any other color so that's something that i love about fountain pens so so yeah those products they are all made in japan so i really love the quality then moving on into this one this one is the pencil and when we open it up again you have this pencil they also sell replacements for the pencil so you can just take it out like that and they are going to change it you have the replacement they sell it in the store the only thing that i don't like is that it's really tiny it's a hb but it's really really tiny pencil <laughs> so if you are someone that use pencil a lot eh, this is going to be more like a really expensive thing that you will have but eh, this is gonna run out really quick for you so i would recommend that if it's just for traveling and it's a quick travel thing that you're not gonna use a lot of pencil thing and it, because it looks really stylish, but it's expensive too. So for this one, I bought the other pencils. I really don't know right now where I have the change that I bought for this, but I got it from the Traveler's Company, the replacement one too. But I haven't run out of, of this for a while. I haven't really used it really that much for me to, to run out quick. But yeah, so this is the pencil one. The eraser is really big and it looks really, really cute but now that you saw how they write this one as i mentioned is a hb so it's not like extremely dark it's just a normal pencil and it's really smooth and nice so now let's talk about the things that i, I also like about them the thing that i like is that they are really compact they are really really small in here if we compare it with a traveler's size notebook let's try to compare it with this one that this one is by archer and olive so if you see the size these are really small in here and i don't know if for you it's easier to see the size if we compare it with a ruler but as i mentioned we have a ruler in here this one is in centimeters so this one in here without counting that cap in there is like nine and a half centimeters overall a little bit more of nine and a half like less than 10 centimeters so it's really really a small and compact but what i like is that when you open up any of these and you just open it up like that you can also close it and you have a big size pencil or pen or a um, fountain pen or anything and it's really easy to write and use it so i love that but now let's talk about price because this I got all of these four and they were a little bit pricey. So let me just pull out the Traveler's Company right here so I can tell you in the USA because I'm based in USA, the prices for this. So starting with the pencil, this is $26.5 and this is not including any shipping prices. So for Traveler's Company, you have to buy something over 75 if you want to have a free shipping, it means that you will have to buy more of these things. But this is $26 for a pencil. So as I mentioned, if you are someone that 
is using pencils often. Um, I recommend to get a cheaper one, but if you want to be stylish, if you want to have it for traveling and just for the look at it, um, it's going to be a little bit pricey. But again, I love it and I use it. So for me, that I love Traveler's Company, it was a good investment. Then moving into the next one. This one in here, as I mentioned, I have to look in here to see. So this one is the Roller Ball Pen. And this one is $69 without the shipping. At least, again, this is in the Traveler's Company USA page. So it's really expensive, again, for a pen. I absolutely love this one, though. So for me, it's worth it, and mostly because this is a roller ball pen, and I already have so many inks, so I can ink it up, like, many times, and I can use it with different colors and everything. So for me, it's worth it, and the material is extremely good. It's brass, so it's going to last a long time, but again, it's a little bit pricey, $69. Then moving into the next one. So this one is the fountain pen. The fountain pen is also the same as the roller ball pen. So it's $69. And this is not including any replacement. It's just as it as it's going to come. It just come with that cartridge of color. Uh, but yeah, this is $69 in the website. So again, fountain pens are kind of pricey. You have really cheap ones for like this one, the Jing Hao, that is like 20 something dollars. And you have this one that is like medium, kind of like price that is like 69. And then you go to other ones that are like 100, 200, 300. So this is kind of like a good price, I think, for a good fountain pen. But again, I wish the Traveler's Company have a EF size, at least on this one. Then moving into the last one. This one is the ballpoint pen. And this one is 2850. Again, it's just a normal pen. I think for this one, if I didn't find that I can use this other uh, uniball and just change the inside, the refill, I would have not recommend to get this one because I really didn't like the Traveler's Company refills uh, in the point. It was just not for me. But now that I found that I can use that, I really love it. So now let's talk about the refills and how expensive they are, okay? So let's start by these ones. So let's start talking about this one, the ballpoint pen. The refill is cheap. Is this one in here is just $1.90 if you see it in there. And then uh, I really don't remember how much this one was, the Uniball one. I can try to put the price in here in the screen, but I got it off Amazon. Uh, but yeah, the refill is gonna be like $1.90, not so bad. The ones that are a little bit more expensive is if you wanna use the fountain pen or the other one. If you want to use the fountain pen, the inside cartridges, they are like $7 for this, the robo pen and the thing. Let me try to, to show you. This is what I mean. This one is $7. So it's a little bit pricey to just change it. You can do as I told you, just use that little um, needle and just use the cartridge to change it and clean it up and put new ink. It's gonna be cheaper for you to just buy this and use it for a long time than be buying all these cartridges in there. Then there is other things, again, the pencil, as I mentioned here, you can change this part and this is $6.20. For that a small area of the pencil, this is the one that I told you, uh, I will not buy it again, it's kind of expensive. And also to change this little piece of pencil is kind of expensive as well. But then if you want to change other things from these areas, I'm going to go and look again into the website. You have other things that you can change. You can change this pen replacement clip in here for any of them. And this one in here is $2.30 for you to change it. And again, all of this is not including the shipping. Then if you want to change in the fountain pen that I think is this one, yeah. If you want to change in the fountain pen this nib in here and you want to buy it from the company, this one is going to be $16.40 to just change this small thing in there. But if you move into the pen in here, this one, and you want to change this, a small area to replace it is $16.40. And again, if you wanna change the other things, 
like for example if you want to change the pen itself that is this one in here and you just want to change the whole thing the overall thing this is going to be four dollars uh, but again you can also just buy the one that i mentioned that is the inside of the pen so as you can see uh, this is kind of worth it if you take care of them and if you kind of like find a cheaper way of changing things like the one that i told you that is buying the ink and buying just the needles for you to change the ink that's a cheaper way for you to just replace the ink and you don't have to spend money on that and again if you don't take care of this and you have to replace many parts it's going to be really expensive uh, so overall i like them i'm happy i bought them uh, it's a really big investment to just have four of these small things for travelers company i guess it's just the overall company brand that just attract me but but yeah I just wanted to give you these insights and just tell you what you can buy, what you cannot buy, what you can change, what other options you have out there if you don't like the refills and things like that. But it's on you if you want to buy them. I just want to give you this personal opinion because I know many people have been asking me about these things and what do I think about them. So overall, I love them now that I have been using it for a while, but I also wanted to change it and clean it up. So let's do this right now. So this one, as I mentioned, is the twinkle. I don't know how it's going to be because I really haven't done it before. Ooh, that looks like avocado in there. So I guess I'm just going to do it over this. I'm not going to like take it apart. Just want to see if it's going to work. Ooh it actually does work pretty nice i don't know if you can see the changes but at least in this one it looks way nicer oh yeah i do like how it keeps up all the bling bling of the paint that that's what i i really like that of these pens is that they look so pretty i'm just gonna put it in here let's see one that is more like as you can see the color of this one is kind of like fainting now it's kind of like getting that old look and i really as you can see in here it's like changing a lot i'm not really into that old look of these pens i know that that's nice for fountain pens and all these kind of like brass pens people love when they look kind of old personally i like them to be looking like new and nice Ooh, I like how they look. Do you see the difference? I don't know if you can see the difference between these two, so, but it changed a lot. I really like this. I know like people may just disassemble it and make them so much better, but for me, I'm just gonna do it over this and not take them out or take the pieces away. But this is really nice and it's taking a lot of this black thing that was moving in here in these pants but i'm gonna keep using this i do like see when they are new they look so pretty so i'm just gonna keep using this to clean them up do you see this one is just all old and kind of like i don't know aging weird and with that black color that i don't really like oh yeah I do really like this. I don't really remember the person that recommended to buy this thing. I wish I did because I usually just see things and I go right away into Amazon and buy it out. But I really don't remember who was the person that told me. I guess I'm going to put this uh, like this. It does kind of look like avocado in there. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Eh to clean it up with this but i guess it did help so i'm happy for that but anyways eh, i'm just gonna end the video in here i'm gonna go and grab another tissue and clean it up after i finish this video but yeah anyways eh, this is just my personal opinion and i'm someone that tried to find cheaper <laughs> options and just i don't know eh, i think that there are so many options out there that are gonna be nice too but but yeah this is my personal opinion let me know what do you think if you have any of these products what are your opinions if you have the same opinion as me or something different but yeah overall eh, i'm happy i got them 
It's a really expensive investment, but I'm happy I got them. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Let me know if you want me to do any other reviews of any other products and what do I think of them and if, if I recommend them or not. But anyways, I'm not gonna take more of your time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, just think about subscribing into my channel or leaving me a comment down there. I would really appreciate it. And I see you guys in the next video. So, bye-bye.